So, welcome to the Gothenburg International Film Festival, year 2012. Uh, I've just seen the film Iris at our main theater here, our main stage, and I have the director here, uh, Ulrika Bengts from Finland. And I must say it was a really charming story with these uh, small girls running around on the, in the Finnish archipelago with swords on their back. And, and it's really beautiful, I must say, the light and the scenery is really got to me. Um, may I ask, um, it feels that even though you set this story more than a hundred years back, you have sort of kept the modern language and you have, there's some sort of modern constellation, family constellation. It feels modern. Mm. I think that's the idea of making movies uh, set a hundred years back that uh, the problems have to be up to date. Otherwise it's no idea. Uh, but the language, we merely tried to find a timeless, timeless language than a special modern language. But uh, the problems, they are modern. There's a theme of death, how a young person, aged around 10, are sort of reflect, reflecting upon death. And you, you show symbols and fantasies. And how shall one speak about death with children? You, you are suggesting a way here that the children are dealing with death. Yeah, I think that the important thing to me is that the, the child herself is dealing with these items. It's nobody else telling her how it works. It's in her fantasy. And the movie is dealing with death in many different ways. Animals die, fathers die, unknown people die. Uh, what about this, this young uh, Iris, Agnes Koskinen? How do you, I guess, casting is half of the job when you're talking about uh, directing youngsters. And how did you find Agnes? Uh, we were looking for young girls all around Finland. And we were filming about 500, and she was one of them. Uh, I did. And what qualities did you see in her when, when you found saw her in front of the camera? I did uh, a lot of the casting job myself, and Agnes was actually the third girl that came in front of my camera. Um, and I immediately felt that this child has got something really special. And what was that? Um, the way she moved in front of the camera. She kind of uh, did a bit slow-mo when she should sit down. She was like uh, playing with the camera from the very beginning. We feel that there is a sort of a, a border in between the, the adult world and the, the fantasies of the, the young, of the children. and. And it's about her also exploring her way to actually be more childish and fantasy. And, and she has this mysterious look to her, this sort of, there's a secret there. And, and yeah. yeah, yeah, she has. Yeah. Uh, and she had a lot of integrity also. It was uh, from the beginning, I, I thought, uh, how could I get in touch with this young, mysterious person? Mm. Did she ever have any of her own ideas in the scenes? Yes, yes, she always had a lot of ideas, and she hates rehearsing. Uh, I wanted to rehearse a, a special scene when uh, she's leaving her mother in, in Stockholm, uh, and she refused. She wants to go for the, the yeah. shot directly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then she did oh, it. Okay, okay. Uh, what about doing a film about uh, young people's, well, children's emotions, fantasies? Did you have to sort of look back and, and sort of recollect your own memories of childhood? Yes, but as an artist you are always dealing with your own childhood. Uh, I think it's, it's the main thing in, in, in an artist's life that you have your childhood with you, keeping it with you all the time and uh, remember how, how it was being, being young. Um, when you are going through things for the first, very first time and... Uh, feeling the feelings for the first time. Thank you Ulrika Banks, uh, director of the film Iris, shown at the Gothenburg Film Festival.